The Royal Neos Wadden Systems Research Center is the knowledge center for Wadden systems of which the Dutch, German and Danish Wadden Sea is one of the most important components. The Wadden Sea with its rich flora and fauna is an important fueling station for migrating wading birds and an important nursery for a variety of fish species. In the past, the Wadden Sea has suffered from various forms of human impacts, including embankments, pollution, eutrophication and fishery. Today, it is a protected area and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Here, several ecological restoration plans are active. The objective? To improve the quality of the Wadden Sea. To get insight into the current status and to evaluate the impact of restoration programs, long-term monitoring data is essential. For fish populations, such data exists. The NEOS FICNET series, spanning more than five decades since 1965. Het net hangt als een grote kom in zee en via een opening kunnen de vissers met hun bootje binnenvaren en het net lichten. These five decades clearly evidence declining average fish size as well as total biomass. So what's going on? Where is the smoking gun? And who holds the trigger? New scientific insights suggest increased numbers of fish-eating birds and seals might be a factor. But human conduct is a more likely culprit, as epitomized in climate change, sand mining, beach nourishment, shrimping, and so on. And so, despite all our protection and restoration plans, the fish fauna in the Wadden Sea continue to decline. So what's next? Is there a future for fish in the Wadden Sea? Possibly. But as long as intrusive human activities are carried out at current levels, both in the Wadden Sea and in surrounding coastal zones, it's going to be at the very least an uphill struggle, as witnessed by this recent publication in a respected scientific journal. <laughs>